Good morning. It is Monday, March 27, 2017, and we're pleased to bring you today's edition of the local news. Welcome. In the news, renovated health center opened in Latour. Vice President explained revaluation program for teachers at press conference. Public should not worry about price hike at the pump, says Minister of Commerce. And Suriname should have an agricultural school, says Professor. I'm Dakota Simpson Marshall. Your local news begins now. Last Friday, a completely renewed health center opened in Latour. The center has a first aid station, an ambulance, a pharmacy, maternity ward, a lab, and three doctors. Remy Polak, the district commissioner of Paramaribo Southwest, talked about the start of the renovation of the building three years ago. Edwin Nordze, acting general director of the Foundation Regional Health Service, RGD, indicated that clinics in all districts will be renovated, while the automation of RGD clinics and the expansion of services are in preparation. According to the Minister of Health, Patrick Pengel, more developments for the RGD clinics will follow in the future. The clinic in Lelydorp is next to be tackled. After the official part, the nameplate was renovated. The guests at the opening got a guided tour through the building, followed by an open day for residents of Latour and surroundings. The center is open from 7 o'clock in the morning until 11 o'clock in the evening. At the end of the month and in the first week of April, teachers will see the first phase of the revaluation program in their pockets. According to Vice President Ashwin Adin, the implementation will be executed in accordance with the agreements with the unions. Last Friday, a press conference was held where the government explained the introduction of the revaluation program. Education Minister Robert Penu and Government Advisor Eddie Josephson also talked about the implementation of the revaluation program. There was, among other things stated, that SRD 2402 will be the lowest salary within the teaching sector. The most important thing that emerged from the conference is that the revaluation program will bring many more benefits for the teachers themselves. According to the Minister of Commerce, Industry and Tourism, Ferdinand Wilzane, the public should not worry about the oil prices at the pump. He gave this comforting assertion last Saturday in the press conference of entrepreneurs. According to the minister, issues will be discussed properly. In the past week, society was rocked by rumors that the oil prices at the pumps would be increased. The final item for local news today is that Chan Chuni, a professor from Suriname in the Netherlands, says that an agricultural school should be set up in Suriname. He said this in response to the agricultural exhibition held on March 25 and 26 as an initiative of the Ministry of Agriculture, Livestock and Fisheries and the Lions Club Quata. Chuni says that children should have, at an early age, love for the agricultural sector. He believes that the policymakers must address the issue. He thinks agriculture in Suriname is still seen as a means of existence only done by Hindustani people. However, other ethnic groups need to make agriculture their own, he advises. Even foreign universities could help to set up agricultural education in Suriname, he added. That brings us to the end of local news for today. Join us again tomorrow, same time, same station for more. Have a wonderful day.